Atari is a name that many people recognize, and for good reason. It was a pioneer in the video game industry, and its influence can still be felt today. The company was responsible for creating some of the most iconic video games of all time. However, Atari's success was not without its challenges. In this video, we will explore the rise and fall of Atari, examining the company's successes, failures, and legacy. Chapter 1, The Early Days of Atari Atari was founded in 1972 by Nolan Bushnell and Ted Dabney. The company's first game was Pong, a simple game of table tennis that was played on an arcade machine. Pong quickly became a hit and helped to establish Atari as a major player in the emerging video game industry. In the years that followed, Atari continued to innovate and release new games that captivated gamers around the world. Some of the company's most successful games during this period included Breakout, Space Invaders, and Asteroids, which helped to establish Atari as the dominant player in the video game industry. Atari also played a key role in the development of the home video game console market. In 1977, the company released the Atari 2600, which quickly became one of the most popular home video game consoles of its time. The success of the Atari 2600 helped to establish the home video game market as a viable industry and paved the way for the development of many other home video game consoles in the years that followed. Throughout the early days of Atari, the company was known for its innovative spirit and its ability to create games that captured the imagination of gamers around the world. Atari's success in the video game industry helped to establish it as a cultural icon and cemented its place in history as one of the most important companies in the development of video games. Chapter 2, The Success of Pong Pong was a simple game of table tennis that was created by Nolan Bushnell and Ted Dabney and released by Atari in 1972. Despite its simplicity, Pong quickly became a massive hit and helped to establish Atari as a major player in the emerging video game industry. One of the reasons for Pong's success was its accessibility. The game was easy to play and understand, making it appealing to both casual and hardcore gamers. The game was also social, as it could be played by two people at the same time, which made it a popular attraction in bars, arcades, and other public spaces. Another factor that contributed to Pong's success was its novelty. At the time, video games were a relatively new phenomenon, and the idea of being able to play a game on a screen was still a novelty. Pong's simple gameplay and innovative design helped to capture the imagination of gamers around the world and helped to establish the video game industry as a viable market. Finally, Pong's success was also due to the marketing and distribution efforts of Atari. The company was able to get the game into a variety of different public spaces, including arcades, bars, and even department stores. This helped to increase the game's visibility and made it more accessible to a wider audience. Chapter 3, The Home Console Market Atari was one of the early pioneers in the home console market, and the company played a significant role in shaping the direction of the industry in its early years. Atari's first home console, the Atari 2600, was released in 1977 and quickly became a massive success, helping to establish the home console market as a viable industry. At its peak in the early 1980s, Atari dominated the home console market, with its 2,600 consoles selling millions of units and becoming a fixture in households around the world. The company also released a range of other consoles, including the Atari 5200 and Atari 7800, although these consoles were not as successful as the 2600. Chapter 4, The Video Game Crash of 1983 The video game crash of 1983 was a major event in the history of the video game industry, and it had a significant impact on Atari and its fortunes. In the early 1980s, the video game industry was booming, and many companies were rushing to release new consoles and games to capitalize on the growing popularity of gaming. However, a combination of factors, including oversaturation of the market, low-quality games, and competition from other forms of entertainment, led to a major downturn in the industry. 
Atari was hit particularly hard by the crash, as the company had overextended itself and was heavily reliant on the success of its home console business. The company had also released a number of poorly received games, including a much-hyped adaptation of the movie E.T. that turned out to be a major flop. In the wake of the crash, Atari was forced to lay off thousands of employees and ultimately filed for bankruptcy in 1984. The company was later sold to Jack Tramiel, who tried to revive the brand with new consoles and games, but these efforts were ultimately unsuccessful. While the video game crash of 1983 was a major setback for the video game industry as a whole, it also led to significant changes that helped to pave the way for the industry's resurgence in the years that followed. Companies like Nintendo emerged as major players in the wake of the crash, and new technologies like 16-bit consoles and handheld gaming devices helped to reignite consumer interest in video games. Chapter 5. The Decline of Atari the decline of Atari was a complex and multifaceted process that involved a range of factors, including changing consumer tastes, financial difficulties, and intense competition from other companies in the video game industry. One of the key factors in Atari's decline was the rise of other companies in the video game industry, particularly Nintendo. Nintendo's hugely popular NES console, which was released in 1985, quickly became the dominant force in the home console market, surpassing Atari's own consoles and games in popularity and sales. Atari also faced significant financial difficulties in the 1980s, as the company struggled to keep up with the costs of developing and releasing new consoles and games. Despite efforts to revive the brand with new consoles and games, Atari was never able to recapture the success and influence that it had enjoyed in its early years. The company continued to struggle in the 1990s and ultimately filed for bankruptcy once again in 2013. Today, Atari remains a well-known name in the video game industry, but it is no longer the dominant force that it once was. Chapter 6. The Legacy of Atari Despite its eventual decline, Atari's legacy in the video game industry remains significant and enduring. First and foremost, Atari played a key role in establishing the home console market as a viable and profitable industry. The company's early success with the Atari 2600 console helped to establish the idea that video games could be a popular and profitable form of entertainment in the home. This paved the way for the many successful consoles that have come since, including the Nintendo Entertainment System, the PlayStation, and the Xbox. Atari's early games and consoles also helped to establish many of the key conventions and gameplay mechanics that continue to be used in video games today. The company's classic arcade games, such as Pong, Asteroids, and Centipede, set a high standard for gameplay and design that has influenced countless other games over the years. In addition to its contributions to the video game industry, Atari also played a role in the development of early personal computers, releasing several early home computer models that helped to bring computing power to the masses. Chapter 7, Lessons to Learn from the Rise and Fall of Atari The rise and fall of Atari offer a number of valuable lessons for businesses and individuals in any industry. Atari was able to achieve great success by pushing the boundaries of what was possible in the world of video games. The company's willingness to take risks and try new things helped it to stand out from the competition and capture the attention of millions of players. Atari's success in the 1970s and early 1980s was due in large part to the strength of its brand. The company's distinctive logo and innovative games helped it to establish itself as a leader in the video game industry. However, the company's failure to protect its brand and adapt to changing trends ultimately led to its decline. Quality control and testing are essential. Atari's decision to rush games to market without proper testing was a major contributor to the video game crash of 1983. This serves as a reminder of the importance of quality control and testing in any industry. The decisions made by Atari's leadership had a significant impact on the company's fortunes. The company's willingness to take risks and innovate in its early days was largely due to the leadership of Nolan Bushnell. 
However, the company's later struggles can be attributed in part to poor leadership and management decisions. Atari's decline serves as a reminder that no company or industry can remain dominant forever. It is essential to be aware of changing trends and to adapt to them in order to remain relevant and successful. Overall, the rise and fall of Atari serve as a cautionary tale for any business or individual seeking success in a competitive industry. By learning from Atari's successes and failures, it is possible to build a strong, sustainable business that can thrive over the long term. Thank you for watching. Please let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Do not forget to subscribe and share.